And there's a place that I've dreamed of Where I can free my mind I hear the sounds of the season And lose all sense of time I'm moving far away To a sunny place Where it's just you and me Feels like we're in a dream Right, everyone um, I thought I'd just video from here as you can see Kyle is on squirrel heading out on his own we're actually gonna go ra round and ride in the paddock today um, just because we have such a lot on and we will be bringing longer hacking videos um, over the coming days but I thought it'd be interesting for you to see squirrel from the ground and also you can see that she's out hacking on her own um, Obviously, it's only a short distance because we are going round to the top field where we haven't even ridden in this year. Um, but it is very good to see, bear with because I'm driving around the corner. It's very good to see a horse going out on the road and to see that there's no nappy tendencies. You can see by Kyle's body language that he's not got a great deal of leg on, but he's got a bit. So you know she's not tense because he's been able to put a bit of leg on, but you know that she's not reluctant because he's not having to kick, kick, kick. So it's little things like that. When you're watching the video, you might just think, oh yeah, you're video in the backside of a horse walking up a quiet lane but honestly when you get used to um, assessing horses these are all things that we take for granted of our horses that are actually things that you need to look at so I think it's important that you see this um, I probably won't be bringing any um, voiceover whilst in the field and in all honesty we've had nothing but rain for 48 hours so it might be a touch slippy so they might be just minimal but for the purposes that you'll be able to see her in an open space and obviously see her from the ground um that bit's important mainly today we wanted to take photographs so she had a bath yesterday and she's had a photograph this morning um so this is squirrel she is our new girl you can see kyle's messing about with his stirrups now that really does just give an uh, indication even though his steering seems to have gone a bit pot to pot but you know what i'm saying you know she's totally relaxed she's good as gold she's good to tack up and get on you can get on from the block kyle got on her today off the big scary mountain block that they all spook at she never spooked at it at all now he's stopping and having a chat with me mom. Oh, he thinks we're going in here. Bear with, guys. I just need to tell... Oh, he's talking to my mum. Bear with. Hang on. He doesn't even know he's on camera. This is how Kyle is. Okay, so I'm yet to have done the whole of Squirrel's info. That will be coming over on a voiceover on one of the hacks. We're just doing everything in the wrong order this week, but there you go. Um, but she is, as I say, the new girl. She would be a good 15-2, cracking onto 15-3, I'd say. Bear in mind, guys, that Kyle is very tall. He's six foot two, and he's a male rider, so you're always longer in the upper body. Um, and not, excuse the car, it's going mad at me because I'm close to the grass. Um, she is only just five years old but she's super sensible she's not sharp at all as i say you can just tack her up and get on her she's not had to be ridden every day her old owner oh i hope you can hear this it's just a damn car um her old owner said she doesn't need to be ridden every day you can leave her two weeks you can ride her every day whatever obviously she's only coming five so you know the more you do with them the better but at the same time she's got the temperament that you that she isn't fizzy isn't sharp so she isn't something that needs consistent work but again the more you do the better they get that's in general but um she hacks you can see that she hacks alone um obviously in company she's good at walk trot and canter as you saw yesterday she's been doing some dressage some jumps so the next part of the video will be her 
in the field now it doesn't actually look it looks quite flat on the videos but it's actually quite bumpy as in like they have sort of like it's like waves like that i don't know if you can see by the hand so sometimes it looks a bit unlevel but you know you'll get the gist okay we'll see you soon I think I'm Okay, so we're in the field, should be looking a lot more lush than it is at this time of year. But anyway, and we definitely shouldn't be having the coats on and the uh, black clouds, but we are where we are. And we're straight in the field, obviously, on squirrel. Um, so it's good to see her reaction in an open field, or lack of reaction. <laughs> And uh, you can see underground, underfoot there, guys, that it's actually not too flat. So you just bear that in mind. They are coping with a bit of terrain. Just make a change of rain, Kyle. And we have the, we've got very simple tack on. We've got the Micklin bridle on, which is, a, we, we love these bridles here. We'd always put them on if they fit. Um, because the horses seem to really like them, they're very comfortable and um, they are nice and kind on all the pressure points. Now I don't know, we've got a little foal there doing zoomies next door so that's something to take into consideration when you're looking at um, Squirrel and you know you have to bear in mind as I say she's a younger horse but I think you can just see by her temperament, um, I mean her temperament is second to none guys, her temperament is out of this world, she's so loving, she's really lovely um, and I'm super pleased that we got her because it's almost, you know, you can't find these horses this size um, like her and she is actually a section D but you wouldn't know it um, because, you know, she's a horse, guys. She's not a pony. Sorry, I think that just cut me off. I'm just ringing to see how we're getting on. Um, but yeah, you do just get those um, unusual types every now and again. And she's one of them. Very horse-like. She's going to have all the benefits of the talent that you can get and the flashiness in this breed. But if you just look at her, you can just see her attitude. Kyle's just in a snaffle, no martingale. You probably can't hear that, but the little foal's whinnying and running around. But if you just look at Kyle's body language, you can see a relaxed horse and a relaxed rider. So it is a little bit slippy and a bit uneven. So we'll do a little bit now and you'll hear more from me at a later date. So just look at that trot guys you can see what i mean when i say she's very horse-like just look at the movement in her baby this is what you came for lightning Strikes every time she moves And everybody's watching her But she's looking at you Fast 